Good evening, Miguel, Adriana. Hello, Adriana. Good to see you in here. Great Good evening. Hi. Hi. How, how are you now? I am feeling sick. Are you still sick? Well, I'm sorry to know about it. I get flu. You got a flu. Uh, don't worry because a uh, floor that's in church of checking why people do not enter into the club already uh, typed some information about your situation, Adrian. So don't worry. We we, we know that, that you uh, didn't get into the class yesterday because you were sick and you're still sick. And you see, that's very... Um, I really admire you because you are you're sick and you are over here. So, hello, Jennifer. Hello. Hello, good to see good you evening. here. Good evening, uh, Jennifer. You didn't get into the class yesterday, right? Yes. What happened to you? Um, tuve una emergencia. Uh, all right. Uh, and, uh, you know, the people from Inglés Corporativo um, will call you in order to notice uh, why you didn't get into the class. You know, they call people, right? Uh, when they don't get into the class so that we can uh, notice the reason, right? About the reason you didn't do so. And, and that's for everybody, okay? Hey, you know what? This is like this is our last week in the intermediate level of English. Pre in this is pre intermediate, right? So you are moving to intermediate. So, well, for me, it's been a pleasure to be with you. So, tomorrow we're gonna finish, right? With the, with the course, okay? And I hope that you, um, have worked in the platform and you have solved all the exercises. I I saw a, a message that you were, uh, that Flor sent you in the group. And I think most, uh, uh, many of you have already finished with the final test. Tomorrow we are going to have some time to, to have some review about the structures there, information there, the listening activity, et cetera. So that that will be for tomorrow. Well, let me see. There's somebody in the chat says, "Oh, I'm sorry, Gretel." Teacher. Hello. <clears throat> y en los siguientes módulos, ¿qué es lo que le van a evaluar a uno? Well, uh, the information in the platform. Uh, uh, if you get into the class on time. If you stayed in the class during 60 minutes, if you use English during the class, okay, uh, fully, I mean, 60, you, you, you have to, to, to do your best effort, right? Uh, I know that um, you are not intermediate English students yet, but you have to, to make some effort to practice English fully. That's why something that I really like about teaching uh, online is that you can do you can have Google next to your to your class and then if the teacher pronounces or gets a, a new word then you just go soften it and you get info. If we start talking about uh, present perfect and you didn't understand the teacher teacher Kika, okay, so then you get some extra information in Google and then you provide like some some other examples. That's where I really liked about teaching online because you have everything there, okay? And you know, uh, Carla, also the, we're, you're going to have midterm, you're gonna have a final test and the activities that the teacher will assign. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Well, yesterday you were assigned a homework. I think you are going to talk a lot today.
Well. We were talking about this. I mean, we saw this exercise yesterday, right? And I told you to provide personal information about the questions over here. And not not just saying like, have you ever <laughs> a, sang, sang in a karaoke bar? You say, yes, I have or no, I haven't. No, I, I want you to provide extra info. Okay. And let me see, I will ask uh, different questions to different people. Okay. I know that you got ready with all of them. And well, let me see. Nerling, we will start with Nerling. Nerling, what can you tell me about the first question? No, teacher. You didn't get ready? Mm. Have you have you ever sang in a karaoke bar? Do you say no? I haven't. Okay. La respuesta, verdad? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever sang in a karaoke bar? Mm. Nerding. Um. Have sung. Yes or no, Nerling? Um, yes. Yes, you have. Okay, now I, I can see that you didn't get ready, maybe because you, you are a working person and you are a very busy during the day. So let us do something, Nerling. Uh, nos va a preparar una experiencia acerca de un cumpleaños al que usted haya asistido. ¿Ok? Trate de usar eh, las estructuras que hemos, que hemos este, visto acá. Pasado simple, presente, perfecto. Ya voy a regresar con usted, Nerlin. Mientras los demás comparten lo que han hecho, usted prepara esa información. Una experiencia en una fiesta de cumpleaños. ¿Ok? Okay. Okay, Nerlin. Okay. You you will have some time. Let me see. Catherine has mean. Hello. Hello, Catherine. Hey, have you ever sang in a karaoke bar, Catherine? Mm, no, <laughs> because I sing ugly and my cousin make fun. <laughs> Ah, okay. So you say no, I no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Nope. And and uh -huh. And then because no, I haven't because I think ugly, ugly. Okay. <laughs> and I don't think make fun. Okay. Did you did you get like extra info about a special a, a special question or a specific question in the exercise? Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, buscó información acerca de una de una experiencia de los ejercicios acá. Sería como... Acu sí, acuérdense que la actividad era, la tarea era elegir una de esas preguntas y, a, y agregar, o sea, comentarnos la experiencia completa, no solo decir no, yes I have, no I have it. Por ejemplo, have you, ever, have you ever lost something valuable? ¿Alguna vez has perdido algo que es de mucho valor? Entonces usted dice, sí, ya me ha pasado. Y empieza una vez, pues, cuando tenía 15 años, a mí me regalaron este, una, una, un anillo de oro, que yo, para mí era 
eh, muy preciado, porque me lo regaló X persona. ¿Cuál? Y entonces usted empieza a contarnos toda la historia. ¿Ok? Okay. okay, so do me the favor to work with this one, please. Have you ever, uh, have you ever got something valuable? Okay, that is for you. Uh, Mayra, Mayra Patricia? Hello, Mayra? Sorry. I once, uh, I lost my iPhone in a bathroom, in a restaurant in the United States, but I went back to look for it and I found it. Found it. And again, I lost a tuk-tuk and went for look it and I, I not found it. I lost. And you didn't, yeah, you didn't find it. You lost your iPhone with all the information yes. there, all messages, WhatsApp information, Facebook information. Yes. Mm, wow. It was terrible. Muy, very terrible. Okay. Okay. And a driver, uh, I think, found it and, and no me lo devolvió. And he didn't give you back. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so Mayra, let, let us try to, I mean, you got the idea, right? And you got the information yes. there. So uh, if you want to provide uh, more information in detail, try to get uh, more info. Okay, I will get back with you. Okay. Okay. Jonathan, what about you? What happened to you? <laughs> I have lost many things too. Um, for example, uh, many years ago, I lost my Christmas present. <laughs> uh, and the same day, I lost $20 that <laughs> is my, my gift. Uh, and This is my history, <laughs> losing things. <laughs> okay, you lo you've lost valuable things. And, uh, and once you lost uh, $20, right? That, and that was uh, uh, on Christmas. On Christmas too, the same day. At the same day. Uh, yes, to my uh, bought a gift, I, I lost. But, you lost it. Okay. Yes. Now, I, hey, listen, I think it's very if I do it this way and I and I ask for volunteers, right? So I, I will ask, I will try it again. Okay. I won't mention any person. Okay. So that you you can feel free. Okay. Mayra? Hello, Mayra? Sorry. <laughs> and I never been uh to karaoke bar but uh in a birthday in my friend but my best friend uh, we song uh, ricardo arjona song mujer de las cuatro décadas uh, did you sing mayra no with, but, with him uh, in in group yes But but not right now. Do you want to try now? No. No. Okay. Okay. Very good. So now I don't. I wonder if there are some other people who have uh, experienced something related to a karaoke karaoke bar. Yes, teacher. In in my okay. case, I have never been in a karaoke bar, but um, as my classmate was saying, um. I had the opportunity to, to sing in a birthday party. Yes, um, my father was invited in, in a birthday party at the beach in La Costa del Sol. So we went and at night at the party, it was there was karaoke and all of the members of in the party had to sing um, at least one song. 
<laughs> it was a requirement to be in that party. We were enjoying, and so we had to sing one song at least. So I had the opportunity to sing in a karaoke for the first time in my life. <laughs> wow, excellent experience. Hey, David, uh, which song did you, did you sing? I, um, I sang songs uh, of Bruno Mars, um, songs of the 80s, because I, I liked them the most. Um, uh, some of them. Uh, do you want to try in a class? Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> do you want to sing over here? Um, but I'm not good enough to sing. <laughs> Okay, now, no, but if you want, you can sing, okay? Okay. But maybe later or now? Uh, no, I'm going to sing, think about one song of the 80s. Uh, there's one that it says, um, Turn around, every now and then I get a little bit longer and you'll never come around. <laughs> wow <laughs> excellent thank you David thank you a lot so you made a difference I mean this group makes a difference I, I have told you before right uh, Jonathan you wanna do you want to participate again no our clubs for <laughs> oh awesome. for David <laughs> excellent Jonathan thank you now, no more experiences about karaoke bars? Yeah, me, teacher. Oh, Francisco, let us know about what happened to you. Okay. Um, uh, the, as the answer is a yes, I have. Um, a couple, couple of times I went with my girlfriend, uh, who later was uh, she the mother of my daughter. Um, uh, and uh, we we will both the son a couple of son in karaoke bar. I remember only in Spanish, no English. Um, we uh um we saw um, I remember uh El Buki, uh, music uh, romantic music only. Only that. Did you sing? Did you see one of those songs? Uh, uh, only in Spanish. Uh, uh, do you like to sing? Yes, I like because uh, it's not. Uh, would I... you would you like to sing a a, a a song over here? Oh no, no, I don't have the. <laughs> I need the uh, a screen for for letter. Ah, for for the lyrics. Okay, yeah. so maybe later, right, Francisco? Maybe you know because you are very popular in this group. Every single time you you don't come early or 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 you don't don't get into the class, people are asking about you. Hey, where is Paco? Where is Paco? Hey, Paco is not in the class now. So you see, so maybe later we we have the opportunity opportunity to listen to you. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now let me see. What about what about this situation? Okay. Once again. Have you ever lost something valuable? How was or tell me. us about your experience? Who? Hi, my Miguel. Okay, Miguel. What happened to you, Miguel? When when I was a kid, um, I I go out with my father, and I. I I had the his backpack and I was sleepy, so sleepy. And he in his backpack, um uh uh in his backpack was um her his his documents, his papers, uh, uh his Bible and I think I think um her his his phone but when we leave the bus 
I I didn't con the her his back, but then he's and he 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 was ang so angry with me. <laughs> uh, and that's it, teacher. Hey, that was that was really I mean it was really bad, right? Because you know when you lose your your ID, so that's that's a big problem, right? Especially because yeah. I think everybody here works every day. I mean the whole day, and so we don't have time to go and get another ID, and that's so difficult. Okay, but yes. it was it was a long time ago, Mike Miguel. Yes, uh, I think um, I think was when I when I was um eighteen years old or or sixteen years old, but okay. uh, yeah. Okay. I I was sleepy, so sleepy. <laughs> Have you ever lost a love letter, especially when we were teenagers, right? Mm. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. I think everybody has uh, has gotten a, a love letter, right? When we were in 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 junior high school, maybe or in high school. And then uh, somebody uh, gives you a, a a letter, and maybe you lost that letter. Have you ever happened that? Or maybe not 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 a letter, but I don't know if if is is there any other um story over here? Can I try to change? Sure. Uh, I remember that many years ago, my grandma um gave me a hair clip, and that was something bothered for me because um years later she died, and I remember that one day it was on the bus stop, and I don't know how, but my hair clip fell on the beach. And I couldn't get it, and I had to go to the place I had to go. <laughs> okay, that was really valuable for you, and you lost it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you see, it's something valuable. Thank you, Eliana. That was really nice. No more participation. Let's go over the next. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Especially nowadays, right? You see, the laws are getting harder. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? How was your experience? Uh, me. Okay, there's no about it, please. Oh okay. Um, on Sunday, um, um, I drive for um, in, in Boulevard Los Héroes. <laughs> uh, when you and uh, when you call, when you call, when you go for uh, Los Boulevard Los Héroes, uh, in Calle Gabriela Mistral, you can uh, cross in for left, but you need a uh, way the the late. The light, um, uh, the la the la the light, um, uh, no me recuerdo, no sé, the la luz del paso. Um, I don't, and don't, uh, I don't look in the the policeman who is, um, is he was a uh, hidden when I crossing the police uh, is. And um, stop me. Um, he simply give me uh, the one ticket for the uh, thirty-five dollars. Uh, uh, I present in, in BC Ministry of Transport one appellation. I don't know how to say appellation, appellation. Uh, uh, but but uh, um, I have 
did pay ever. <laughs> Fortunately, it was only five five dollars, right? Thirty. Oh, now it's five dollars. Uh, Fifty now. Fifty dollars now. Yeah. Oh. Now until after thirty five. Okay, so now it's a big amount of money. No yeah. one wants to get a, a traffic a ticket nowadays, right? Nobody. Oh. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Let's let's go over the next uh, experience. I think a lot of people will participate over here. Have you ever uh, saw a live concert? Me teacher. Okay, Andrea, what happened? Okay. Okay, I have been to a Christian concert this year and I have felt wonderful in the place where we all sang with one accord. Um, and it was wonderful. Sometimes we choose the song or solos, and sometimes we follow well, follow the songs together with the singer of that moment. At the beginning of the afternoon, the sky was covered with gray clothes, and it looked like it was it was going to rain but i knew in world weren't then at nightfall we were able to sing under the stars and that's all awesome awesome i really like that and I, I will let you know what's happening with this activity. ¿Te puedo decir qué es lo que está sucediendo en esta actividad? Alguna vez yo les enseñé a decir, este, um, parecía que iba a llover en inglés. No, que, yo no les he enseñado eso. El futuro. futuro. Uh, no, que, que, que iba a llover. Y se veía como que iba a llover. Sí, algo así quise decir. Ma Mayra lo dijo, ¿ok? Y, 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 y les y le voy a decir la importancia de este tipo de actividades. Sucede que en este tipo de actividades hay cosas que yo no he enseñado, ¿ok? Muchas de las cosas yo no las he enseñado, pero como es una tarea, cada quien este, se esmera por, por investigar, bueno, ¿y esto cómo lo digo? Y automáticamente están aprendiendo gramática que no se les ha enseñado acá. Eso, eso es genial. Congratulations, Mayra. And congratulations to the people who have partic participated so far. Let's go over to the next part. Teacher, I want to participate. Uh, go this. ahead, go ahead, Johnsy. Okay. And, and later, well, David. Well, yes, I have seen in a concert. Last year, I went to three concerts uh, for my favorite singer, um, Alejandro Sanz, Alejandro Fernandez, and Ricardo Arjona. Uh, it was an amazing concert because uh, in only um, in three months, uh, I see I have seen a uh, uh, uh my fair, my favorite person and singers and it's amazing only that <laughs> it's been amazing right it's been the, amazing the experience the, the experiences that you have happened uh, were amazing i can imagine how amazing and how wonderful um is to be in a in a live concert and daddy yankee too but my favorite is uh Alejandro Sanz, Alejandro Fernández, and Ricardo Juan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jancy. That was really nice. I think, David, you want, do you want to continue singing or maybe you are going to... <laughs> no, teacher. Um, I wanted to, uh, to talk about my experience in a concert. Ah, all right. Um, I haven't gone in a concert to, to, to watch a, um, an artist 
like the, my classmates did. And I um, I went to a concert, but but uh, let me tell you, um, I live in San Marcos, San Salvador, and this city received the the title of city uh, 40 years ago. So the city was celebrating 40 years of being city. And it was a big party every day celebrating 40 years. And the last day, it was a, a concert in, near the in Alcaldía, ahí cerca. And it was a concert of musicians um, playing music, uh, but um, songs like 80s, 90s, but with violin. It was, it was incredible. It was a, a great concert for me. It was a, a big experience to watch a, a, a very, uh, there was many musicians. It was around 20, 20 musicians playing songs by violin. It was very incredible. All right. There were many musicians there. Good. Thank you, David, for sharing that experience. Uh, let's go over. I think this one is also a very popular situation. I think everybody has happened this, this situation. Have you, have you ever been late for an important appointment? No one in the group has happened that? Okay, Ileana. Uh, yes, teacher. It happened uh, last week. I think I have a job interview in San Salvador and my lady to top up. Uh, I had to be there at 8.30 a.m. And I was in the bus stop at 5.45. And I arrived really late. I was there at 9 a.m. So I felt really embarrassed, but <laughs> there was nothing I could do. And, and did you finally get there? And, and, and then you you explained to the to the interviewer about what ha happened? Yes, I explained to them and they said that it was no problem because they know uh they knew the traffic and all that stuff. So but I think that <laughs> it um influence like in the process like and, and, uh, yeah actually uh, i mean when it happens then you you don't feel comfortable enough right so then you get nervous yeah. there and then you forget about your lines because you were practicing a lot at home but when you when you get there so suddenly you forget everything and then you, you don't feel that confident yeah, exactly that i you. i know what you mean it hasn't happened to me, uh, I mean, in a job interview, but in, in another situation, for sure. And it, I think it's it's very disgusting. <laughs> but thank you, Eliana, for sharing the, 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 your experience. Thank you. Is there anybody else? Wow, todos son super puntuales en este grupo. Pensé que casi todos íbamos a hablar de este tema. Pero, bueno, lo felicito que nunca, casi nunca llegan tarde a, a una cita importante. Ok. Let's go over the next. No, there is no more, right? So, I think we have, we have already finished with this activity. Let's go over a topic that I want uh, to present tonight that's very important. And that's about scenes and for. Season four, okay? I don't know, but there are some people who say science. I don't know why people say science, but this is scenes, people. Scenes. Four in scenes, okay? And we use it in the following way. With the present perfect uh, tense. Let us go over it, people. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions.
for, and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with for. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here. I love it. Okay. So, uh, what is the tense for this sentence, for this question? How long did you live? Did you live in Thailand? What is the tense? Simple past. Simple past. It's a question with a simple past. And the, 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 the word that we have in a simple uh, past is for. You can use for with simple past. But when you move to, to present perfect, you are allowed to use both, right? Since and for. It all depends on what you want to say, right? Because for refers to a period of time. And since um, the starting point of, a, of an activity, okay? Example, I live here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. I don't know. Uh, I will mention some expressions about time, time expressions, and then you will tell me if they deserve, oh, I mean, if you need to use for or since. Number one. I was a baby. Since or for? Since. Since, Since I was a baby. Since. Okay. Uh, I was born. Since. 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 Okay. Uh, two years. For. Four. 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 Okay. Uh, I got married. Since. 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 Since I got married. Okay. Uh, I met you. Four. Since. Four. Since or four. Since. I, I met you. I met you. Since or four. Since. 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 So I think both. Since and four? Both? both. No, it could be both. Both. For no. uh, For I met you or since I met you? Since. Yeah, since. Since, I, since I met you. Uh, my last vacation. Since. Since. Okay. 20 years. Four. Four. Ten minutes. Four. 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 Okay. Uh, yesterday. Since. Four. Since. Since. 
Tint. Since or for? Tint. Since, Since yesterday, right? Okay, so in Spanish we say eh, durante o por. And since, desde. Yes. That's the meaning of it, right? So I think this is easy info, but, you know, we have to, to get some review. Okay, for refers to a period of time. For six years, for, for a week, for a month, for hour, for two hours. And we have a, a whole sentence here. I have worked here for five years. Now, can you provide another example? Could you please provide another example with four? Present perfect in four. Say it and type it in the chat, please. Another example, please, in the chat. I got one that says, no, no, uh, okay, Carla. Uh, remember to use present perfect, present perfect in your example. Examples Only... with four. Yeah. Um, okay. There's one in the chat. Uh, I word is that present perfect or simple past, David? Oh, oh my God, it's past. If, yeah, that's simple past, right? The same for Francisco. I searched for five minutes. Is that simple past or present perfect? It's a simple, simple past. A simple past. Okay, try to get one with present perfect, please. Now, yes, right. Let me see. Miguel, I've been waiting here for an hour. Okay. I have lived in my neighborhood food for 20 years, Ileana. And Mayra says, I have been a student for three months. Good. Excellent team for people. Excellent examples. Now, it says, present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time, for a long time. Ali has been married for three months. They have been at, a, at the hotel for a week. Okay, I think you have it clear. The way to use for. Let's go over it with the information related to scenes. All right. Now, let me see in the chat. I have had a flu for two days. Okay. She has been in the hospital for since the last week. Oh, now, uh, Jansi, you started with since. Pretty good, Jansi. Over here, we have since, okay? Since this morning, since since the last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since 2 o'clock, I have worked here since 1990. Could you please provide another example in the chat? Sleeping, Jonathan? It's past. <laughs> yeah, yes. I have <laughs> traveled all over the country for one year. That was David, David typed. Now, I, I need you to type one example by using present perfect in scenes. We have studied English since January. Okay, Francisco, that's a, a good one. We have studied English since January. Another example, he has 
Oh, he has had or he's had his house since he got his first first job. Good, Miguel. Carla, since I met you, I saw life in pain. Okay, really good. But remember, Carla, that simple past. Okay. I saw my life in pain since I met you. But actually, the, the, the sentence is all right. But you need to be clear that simple past. Then Myra says, I've lied pasta since I was a child. Good. I have been taking swimming classes since last month. Good. Eliana says she has worked for the company since 1989. Juan has been, uh, hey, let me see. Francisco, what is the past form for sleep? Juan has been, maybe it's been, has slept. been sleeping, right? Has been sleep, or maybe Juan has slept since yesterday. Okay, Francisco. Adriana says, I have had a headache since yesterday. Oops. That's, that's, the example is excellent. I have been worked at my home since 2021. Good, Jonathan. Okay. I think you don't have problems with since. And you know, we have some other examples over here. She has lived here since 1980. We have started this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March the 2nd, and they have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Pretty good. I think I think you have it clear. And Jancy says, oh, Luisa says, she sang, oh, she has sung since she was 10 years old. Okay, Luisa. Jancy says, I, I have seen my classmates since since last January. Okay, I have or I haven't seen, maybe, right? Yes, I yeah, haven't. I haven't. Okay, thank you, Jancy. That's really nice. Okay. I think you don't have problems with since and four. But we need to go over the exercise. The knowledge check, as we usually do. Now we're here, you know, you're in church of choosing the answer, right? Read the following statements and choose between four and scenes, depending on the context. Now, Pan was in Central America. Now, tell me, scenes or four? Scenes? Four. four. Mm -hmm. For a month, Pam yes. was for... in Central America for a month last week. Okay, so you say four. I've been a college student almost four, four. years. Four. 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 For almost four years. Number three, Hiroshi has been at work since. Since, since. Since. since 6 a.m. Number four, I haven't gone to a party. So no, he four. 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 Yeah, for a long time. Josh lived in Venezuela for, four. for two years. My parents have been on vacation. Since. Since. Since Monday, Natalie was engaged to Danny for four. Four. Six, six months. Pat and Valeria have been best friends since, since. since high school. Since high school. We have been in class since, since 5.30 Since 5.30 p.m. And the last one, the babies have cried for, for, two, for 10, 30 minutes. At 30 minutes, right? Okay, for right. 30 minutes. Okay, let's see the answers.
The first one, can somebody read the whole statement, please? Um, Pam was in Central America for a month last Good. year. Good. Number two. I've been a college student for almost four years. Excellent. College student. Good. Four. Number three. Hiroshi has been at work since uh, 6 a.m. Uh, Jonathan, how do you pronounce this word? Since. Okay, since 6 a.m. Thank you. <laughs> Number four. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Great. Number five. Just live in Venezuela for two years as a kid. Thank you. Number six. My parents have been have vacation on vacation since Monday. Since Monday. Since Monday. Number seven. Natalie was engaged. Natalie was engaged to, to Danny for six months. For six months. Number eight. Pat and Valerie have been best friends since high school. Since high school. Pretty good. And number nine. We have been in class since spike therapy. Good. And the last one. Babies have Babies cried have for 30 minutes. Have... For 30 minutes, pretty good. Hey, you got a 10 over here. So actually you don't have any problem with since and four. Congratulations. I think you have already studied this info in advance. Okay. And you know what? What's happening uh, tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're going to we're going to study uh the information about the, the final the final test. And you know, but before getting to the final test. We are going to discuss this information, okay? So, we're, but we're going to stop over here because I need to check the list of things. All right? Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, Adriana, Adriana Gretel. Here. Andrea Esmeralda. Here. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe. Glendy Elisette. Here. Okay, Ileana Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Good. Hiroki. I saw Hiroki. Was I dreaming? I'm here. Okay. Thank you, Hiroki. Uh, Jennifer Raquel. I'm here. Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Josue Miguel. Here. Carla Tatiana. Present. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Eh, Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerling. Nerling participated at the beginning. And Jancy Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, good. Now, we still have some time to see the video, so we're gonna see it, okay? This is about linking sounds in English. We're gonna see it and we're going to discuss it tomorrow. Or maybe if we have some other uh, exercises about it, we can we can practice. Listen, please. Hi, in this lesson, we will work on... Do you listen to it? Yes. yes. Okay. Linking sounds. Pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t 
sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, the period is very short, but it's very meaningful. Because, well, what the lady explained to me here is that, uh, as you remember, there are regular verb, verbs, right? That are pronounced with a T sound, like cooked. And, well, when you answer, okay, have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Okay, cut it. You 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 linked, you linked the sounds, right? Have you tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it. Tried it, tried it once in Miami. Okay, and that's the way. Like we 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 tend to link sounds in English. You know. So do me the favor to put it into practice because tomorrow I will ask you to 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 share some more examples with this with this pronunciation of linking sounds. What's coming tomorrow, people? Well, I will stop sharing. And let me tell you that tomorrow is going to be our last class for pre-intermediate level of English. Then you are going to move on to the next level. So tomorrow we are going to work in the, in the final test. But I know that you have already finished with it. If you haven't done it yet, do me the favor to finish it. But we're going to like we're gonna play with with the with the final test. I mean, we are going to to practice in a different way. For example, there we can find out like I wonder if there is a listening activity. Well, if there's a listening activity, we're gonna uh, work in groups tomorrow. Okay. And you will see what's coming tomorrow. Any comment? Any question? Today's no. class was very easy, right? It was only about since and for, since and for, present perfect, simple past. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to continue with, uh, with the information of the final test. All right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Let us see tomorrow. Okay, and have a good night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. You're welcome.